Welcome back to GT7. This is Sly Red, and today we are going to do a tune on the GTR Nismo GT500 Nissan, the 2016 GR2 car, I think. This would make part of my top five list, too. The downforce on this car is like Godzilla stepping on you. It flattens out. It holds the corners like a magnet. This car is amazing. The beast from the east, Godzilla. I made this livery, and if you guys like it, I'd appreciate it if you go to my channel and give me a like and a share. And if you like it, you can add it to your collection. This made me, it took me about three hours to make this livery. But I think it came out pretty good. The Liberty Walk. GTR. Anyway, let's go look at the parts. Again, being a race car, there wasn't any ultimate parts you could buy. With race cars, it's often hard to buy parts in <laughs> the parts dealership. I bought the power restrictor and the ballast. I think you're going to need both of them. I bought the fully customized computer. I bought the high RPM turbocharger, the fully customized LSD, racing muffler, racing slotted disc brakes, fully customized suspension, brake balance controller, fully customized racing transmission, and we're tuning with racing hard tires. Bought rain tires, because you always need it in this game. Let's go look at the tune. Sandwich. Okay, again, we are tuning the Nissan GTR Nismo GT500 2016. Uh, the engine in it is the NR20A-GT-R. We're tuning for 800 pp, and we got it right on the dot here with 799.94. The maximum power is 612 horsepower. The maximum torque is 417.5. The weight is 2,504 pounds, super light. It's a race car though. We're tuning with racing hard tires, fully customized suspension. I have the body height at 55 in the front, the body height adjustment and 65 in the rear. The anti-roll is 7 and 7, front and back. The damping ratio compression is 35, for, uh, 35 and 35, front and back. Damping ratio expansion, 45 and 45, front and back. Natural frequency, 4.80 in the front and 4.55 in the rear. The negative camber angle, I have at 4.0 and 1.9 in the rear. Toe angle in the front is zero neutral, and in the rear it's 0 0.17 in. The differential I got set at 
30 and 5. You can set yours anywhere you want it. Aerodynamics, I got set at 695 in the front and 999 in the rear. Okay, here's where we're doing ECU output adjustment. You have to put that to 73. We're doing that because we need to get under 800 pp. The ballast, we added 116 kilograms. It didn't affect the weight at all. We're still way below 3,000 pounds there. We didn't take any power out of it with the power restrictor. We used the fully customized racing transmission, and my top speed is set to 350. And I changed all the gears in this, so make sure your gears match my gears. And I think I tuned from the top to the bottom on this one. Shocking, huh? I never do that. First gear, second gear, third gear, and so on. But if you need a closer look, pause the video. We couldn't buy any parts. We have the high RPM turbocharger. Make sure you have that. But with that, let's go take a look of I think we race it at the Dragon's Trail, not Seaside, but Reverse. This car ate up cars every lap, like eight cars every lap it passed, like no problem at all. You're going to like it, guys. You're going to blow all your friends away with this car, especially set at 800 pp, because everyone's like, what? Why is that in this class? That's not fair. That's a GT500 car. And you go, well, it's 800 PP. Anyway, if you have any questions about this tune or setup, write them in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps the channel out. I really appreciate you guys watching my videos. Thank you very much for that. If you have any cars you'd like to see tuned, street cars, race cars, engine swap cars, write that in the comments down below and I'll tune any, any car you like. Not the Evo with the engine swap. <laughs> that car's broken. But on that note, Let's go watch the video. Everybody have a great day.